Hey, what's going on? My name is Pat McLaughlin and I am the founder of DrumlineChops.com. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to count and play quintuplets or fivelets uh, really, really well and feel really, really comfortable doing it. Alright, so the way I count quintuplets or fivelets, whatever you want to call them, uh, stems back to my time studying South Indian music. All right? I studied with a guy named Puflar Shriji, who's a really well-known uh, South Indian drummer, uh, and he taught me the South Indian syllables that they use for counting uh, all the different rhythms. So whether it be eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, quintuplets, septuplets, right? ninelets, whatever the, the case may be. Um, and the syllables have always stuck with me, right? Because these syllables have been passed down through generation and generation and generation of uh, traditional Indian musicians because frequently you will hear them actually sing the rhythms out loud, right? When they're counting tala and keeping time, they will actually sing the rhythm to keep track of, of where they're at, right? And so these rhythms uh, and these syllables work very, very well to be pronounced verbally and at very fast speeds. All right? And so this, uh, this way of counting has always stuck with me, especially with quintuplets. All right? So the syllables that I'm going to teach you are derived straight from South Indian Carnatic music. All right? And the syllable goes like this. Taka taki ta ta. Right? Again. Taka taki ta ta. Right? Now, if you look at the way this is kind of broken up, uh, it's more or less the, the stress of the syllables is put on a grouping of two followed by a grouping of three. Taka is the first two, and then takita. So, taka, takita, ta. Right? And uh, the reason this works out is because it gives you a little bit of momentum going through each of, of the uh, fivelets, right? It gives you a little bit of an anchor point, like taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta, right? And and you can really feel that momentum going forward, uh, so you don't get bogged down, um, especially when you're playing fivelets at faster tempos, right? Uh, so the, the reason I think this is cool uh, is because it fits in pretty well if you're counting other things. So if you're like one e and a two e and a taka taki ta two, right? One e and a two e and a taka taki ta ta, right? It fits in nicely uh, with any other counting method, and it's still uh, a a series of syllables that sound like counting. I know some people that use just word syllables like university or hippopotamus, right? That's cool if you want to use those. Um, I just feel more comfortable. I, I think my, my students enjoy it more to, to stick with the uh, syllables that they strictly have in their mind as a counting syllable, right? And so that's just that's a personal preference. If you want to use one of the other syllables, go ahead and do that. Have fun with it. Uh, but again, taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta, right? It flows very, very well. It's got that naturally uh, built-in momentum pushing the quintuplet forward, um, and it gives you a nice second anchor point, taka ta, taka ta, to always make sure you're kind of checking out in the middle of the quintuplet, right? So, that's how I suggest you count quintuplets. Now, to actually play them and put them in context is, is a very similar story, right? Uh, I want you to use all natural sticking when you're getting used to playing them. All right, so think taka ta. Think those first three notes, taka ta. And I want you to accent both the tas, taka ta, taka ta. Right, and then finish out the rest of the triplet, taka taki ta ta. And accent the downbeat of the next hand, taka taki ta ta, taka taki ta ta. Right? And you'll notice that having that one, two, one, two, three, one kind of helps you feel it a little bit easier than just going one, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it gets a little redundant. So having one, two, one, two, three, one helps you keep a little bit more track of it. All right? So then do that off the left hand. Taka, taki, ta, ta. Taka, taki, ta, ta. Right? Then put them back to back. Taka, taki, ta, taka, taki, ta, ta. Right? Notice quintuplets are like triplets, okay? If you start on the right hand playing natural sticking, you're gonna start the next beat off the left hand, right? And they're gonna alternate like that. So, right, left, right, left, right? Um, 
So work that up and get used to that and, and say out the say the syllables out loud as you play. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka. Right? Once you get comfortable with that, start reducing the level of the accents and raising the volume of the taps. So you're kind of you know going from black and white to a little bit of a gray area. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka. Right? Then once you get comfortable with that, make it all one height. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka. Right? And just get really really comfortable saying it and playing it. All right. Then uh, what you can do is start putting it in with uh, 16 notes and alternating from four 16 notes to four quintuplets. So you would go one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, ta. And get used to transitioning from you know 16 notes to quintuplets. Get comfortable with that. Then go from triplets to, to uh, quintuplets, right? And just start expanding your vocabulary and getting comfortable switching from one to the other. And under start to get a better relationship and understanding for how it actually feels with the pulse, right? So uh, that's how you count fivelets and quintuplets. Again, there are other syllables that you can use. To count quintuplets, this is just my favorite and one that you know I think a lot of people enjoy and and uh, you know have fun learning and utilizing in their playing. Uh, and then once you get the syllables down, actually feel the little pulse in it. Taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. Then start to smooth that pulse out so that it's all just one rhythm. Taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. Right. Uh, and by the time you do that, you should be good to go. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to send me an email. And as always, I will see you in the next lesson.